Okay, hello and welcome everybody. This is Dr. Destiny here and I'll be covering the Cirrus PDX 41, which is the obviously the arms day post rifle you can get. I managed to get the package for it last week and I got it this Wednesday. So I've been playing around with it. I've, I've been killed by it many a time in Crystal, so I thought I'd test this bad boy out, see what it's like. I'll go over obviously the perks that I got with it. I was rank 5 with the Postmaster. Postmaster. Mm -hmm. With the um, arms day guy, and then obviously uh, the stuff I got with it, what impact it has, rate of fire, blah blah blah, that kind of jazz, and obviously the perks you can get with it. In the background, we have got gameplay of Firebase Delphi, it's obviously one of the old school maps. I'm using the Sirius PDX as my primary. Her Blitherance as this sniper rifle and the Yoldis Hammer, which both of them are year ones. Yoldis Hammer, heavy machine gun for the heavy. At the beginning, <laughs> not so great gameplay, but throughout the middle part of it is pretty good. So watch its space, and then obviously I'll talk about what the, the strong points of the gun are, and then obviously what god tier roles you want to get. Obviously, this dependent on how high you have got the Arms Day fella rank up because obviously the further you are so if you go from three four five you have more perks and more selection of guns you get from him so the higher you are the better ones you get you get general gist anyways so so the perks i've got with my one i've got the slo 12 which is obviously the sights improves weapon handling the spo 26 which is the lightweight red dot sights improves weapon handling which is the one i'm actually using the sro 41 sure threat Evaluation highlights enemy guardians who have changed charge supers and powerful minions of the darkness. <coughs> actually, just I should try that one out. Actually, see how good that is. I've got high caliber rounds, which I've actually got on. So obviously, staggers your targets. It's more for PVE, but it does work in PvP as well. Cast kit mag increases magazine size, but reduces stability. Stability, but I've no point in using that. Got Zen moment, which is the one that comes with it. So causing damage with something increases its stability. Obviously, if you're weaponized, you, you want more stability. Lightweight, when held, this weapon grants plus two character agility. And then we've got rifle power, which is a given. You're going to have this one on increased range, but slower reload. So the rate of fire, I've got 66, impact 14, range 72, which is like pretty much maxed out. Well, nearly maxed out. Stability 68, and reload 48. Magazine size 27. Okay, what have we got here? Well, what I found, obviously, you know, like typical with pulse rifles, this one's actually got pretty solid stability, pretty good range. It's obviously on par with stuff like Nerwins, uh, Reflection Sum, stuff like that. Obviously, they're very different with their bursts and stuff like that. Reflection Sum's very similar to. I'd kind of say it's similar to the Crota's End pulse rifle. I forget the name of it now. But obviously the pulse rifle for that is a bit more rapid, but it has that kind of feel or kick to it. I know it's not the same rate of fire, but it has that type of feel. This has got a, it sounds funny enough, but it's got um, a serious regime kind of feel to it, hence it being a serious pulse rifle, but it's, uh, you know, their version. It actually feels quite distinctive in, in its own sense. So with that, obviously, as you can see in the background, it's quite a solid pulse rifle, good range to it. It's good in PvE as well, let alone just PvP, obviously. So it's multi-purpose in in its effect for that. The ones you should be looking for, if I can find the information. Okay, so the sites we won't go over, but <clears throat> the perks that you want to be getting with this, obviously I've got high caliber rounds, so I can't help it. The other ones are pretty good. <clears throat> They're all pretty good. This this is actually probably the worst one out of the uh, out of the four. So you can get fitted stock, which increases the stability even more. Perfect balance, which obviously this weapon has extremely low recoil, very good. And in Hammer Forge, improved range and accuracy, again, very good as well. The other ones you can get is Feather Mag, so faster reload, oiled frame, faster re uh, reduced range, casket mag, which I actually got but I didn't actually use, uh, Pended Magazine. So for the second column, like I said, this one as, as a standard, it didn't come with anything else, it's only going to come with their moments, so that thing you can't change, but obviously if you go through the, the, the standard list, you have Range Finder, Counter Balance, Outlaw, Spray and Play, Hidden Hand. There uh, for auto head seeker head seeker is pretty good for pulse rifles body shots with this weapon increase precision damage for a short time and then obviously for the next one I got lightweight so out of the four lightweight's not too bad but you have snapshot so aiming weapon is incredibly fast eh. 
Re reload this weapon quickly, speed reload, single point sling, switch weapon faster, move quickly while aiming. I say that one and then lightweight, which is one I've got. I'll oh, snapshot, but I'd say single point sling is probably the better one, lightweight and then snapshot. So they're the ones you're going to be looking for. And then for obviously the last one, we have rifle bell as a given. You want, you definitely want that increased range, slow reload, which I have double check. I swear I just, I just said I got that one. Rifle barrel. Yeah, I did. Okay, rifle barrel. Uh, if not, we've got reinforced barrel, increased range and reduced stability. Injection mold, increased ability, faster handling, reduced range. That one you probably don't want. Oh, if not, I say out the three of them, rifle barrel. Hand lane stock, which is increased ability, reduced range. Again, it depends how much range you've got with it with other perks. And then small ball, increased range and stability, slower reload, reduced magazine size. I'd say for, you ideally want to keep the magazine size that you've got. 27 is quite solid. Obviously, you can use it in PvE then if it's higher. And obviously, you just still use it in PvP anyways. But overall, pretty standard gun, I'd say. Um, a must given out of the arms day stuff. The only two you'd ever really want to get is this one. Potentially the auto rifle from Sirius, but I need to test that one out myself. Um, I think I've actually got it somewhere, but I just need to try it out properly. And then obviously the Irene, which does the stupid, pretty much final round uh, sniper rifle. But again, out of principle, I'm probably not going to use that because I hate them type of weapons. And I hate it when a fleet spear had final round on it, so to that. So, <laughs> overall, I say this is a definite given. This is a proper top five out pulse rifles at the moment. So, if you want to be competing and you still like pulses and you don't want to use Mighty Mortal Tool or Last Word, this is a still, at the moment, even with the current meta, it's still quite a strong competitor. So, go with that. As you can see with my loadout, the year one weapons are still viable and you can still use them in cool Crucible. Battle. But, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And I'll see you all in the next video. If you like the what you've seen, give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, tell me what you think of this gun. If you got it yourself, what perks you got with.